hi you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you guys how to do a simple classic matte makeup look and i'm using the neutrogena hydro beast sunscreen and i always use sunscreen whenever i'm doing my makeup the airspun powder and I put it all over my face now I'm attempting to color correct and this color corrector is in a reddish shade and I really love the effect that it gives me. Just make sure to not use too much. Really go light with this because if you use just the right amount it gives you a really flushed red undertone faint look. But if you use too much it just it won't cover. Your concealer won't cover it. And I'm just blending it out. <laughs> that phase ew. Okay, now I'm using the Revolution Concealer in the shade C11. I was really trying to get it to focus and it was not working. <laughs> okay, but um, I'm gonna apply it. I use it on my eyelids. Okay, so now I set it with powder, just a little bit. Do not use a lot, just a tiny bit will do. Okay, and this is the foundation I'm using. It's the L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 108 Caramel Beige. It's our song, we can sing if we want to. And I always love to keep wipes, sweat wipes with me when I'm doing my makeup. Just, just a tip. <laughs> So now I'm going back in with that concealer. Well, yeah, I'm using it again and I'm going to. Well, first, I wipe the foundation off of my lips because I really hate that. I feel like if you don't do this step, then when you go to put your lip color on or gloss or whatever you're wearing on your lips, it will get cakey. So make sure to wipe off the um, foundation off of your lips and also something good to do would be to put some lip balm or something before you put your lipstick which I did not do in this video but I do try to do normally okay and then I'm concealing under my eyes and as you can see it's covering up that color corrector and blending in really well so you can still kind of see a faint red look but it looks more like blush rather than just random red patches under my eyes <laughs> and I set with a little bit of powder Now I'm using my Stila eyeliner and I love this eyeliner and I'm not going to do anything fancy I'm just going to do a, like a simple line, kind of thicker line but no wing today even though I love me some winged eyeliner. <laughs> I just want to make the eyes look a little bit more open and bigger so that's why I'm starting from the outer corners. This is a good trick if you want to make your eyes look bigger. Using this brow pencil and I'm just using the brush part to brush my brows up because I really am not a fan of filling in my eyebrows. I just feel like I have a lot of eyebrow already and I don't like the really thick bushy eyebrow look 
I lean more towards liking thinner eyebrows anyways, so I just brush them up. <laughs> okay, now I'm contouring with that palette that I showed you. And contouring, I just started doing it. I'm still not the best at it, but as you can see, I go from my ear and I try to go up. I don't try to go down. I try to use an upwards motion to blend it. Well, except on my forehead, but on my cheeks, I try to blend upwards. Um, yeah. And I really like this palette. It's like, I really love the shades. And now I'm using my bright red Maybelline lipstick and I love this lipstick. It's so bright and it smells good, but not like overpowering scent and it's very moisturizing. concealer around my mouth just a tiny bit and dab it with the q-tips q-tips that's what it is but I didn't really need it this time but that's a really good trick if you want your lip color to pop even more use concealer around your lips okay and I love the setting spray it's the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and the stuff is the real deal and yeah now I'm just putting on mascara and that's it Thank you guys for watching, and um, yeah, subscribe if you want more content like this. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.